Hello everybody, Walters954 here coming at you with some advent of code Python practice. In this practice we are on day three and Santa Claus has a two-dimensional grid of houses which he is delivering to you. Some of the houses he goes over twice and he wants to find the list of unique houses that he goes over. So basically he, he's on a coordinate plane and he gets different directions like go up down like follow this track up on up 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 right and then uh, each of these individual locations are unique houses so but sometimes you backtrack so we're just trying to find the unique houses that he goes through so let's jump over here into Python I already have our input in a string and the grid list so Every time we get different locations, we're going to be entering them in into the grid like 1, 1, 1, things like that. I could use a set because we're trying to find the unique ones, but we haven't gone over sets, so I'm just going to be using a list for right now. Also, we have the Santa Claus variable, and you'll figure out why I have um, this S in here for part 2. It's If you just take it out, you can think of... Um, You'll, you'll see why it's done later. So these 0, 0 integer positions represent like the x and y coordinates that he's getting. And we have a for loop that is jumping through each of these different characters. And I'll run it here so you guys can see. And it's printing out the number of the characters. So x is actually this number here. And directions of x is the position, the index that whichever character is at. So because we're going to actually need both to run through part two. So I'm actually just speeding it up a little bit. So let's just jump into it. If directions x equals the right or that's left arrow, then we need to move our Santa Claus x position minus uh, one. So he's basically moving negative one like on the grid so but instead of moving Santa Claus I want to use like an intermediate variable and I will call this uh, variable mover because it is the person that's going to be moving so mover equals Santa and I spell that right Santa and now we're gonna say mover equals mover at position one so this is the x coordinate and we need to decrease it by one and then for the other variables we're gonna say mover the y position which is this one right here we're not gonna change it at all and we're actually not gonna change the other one either so we're just gonna say mover two the reason that I have to put those in there is because we're resaving mover. We're not like creating a different mover and adding it to it. We're resaving this original mover and then uh, plussing and minusing, doing whatever manipulations we want to it. So else if directions, and we can actually just probably copy this and just make sure that we're doing it the correct way. So we copy this one too. So. What I'm going to do, since we have to do this four more times, is I'm going to just put else here. And then our last statement is just going to be an else statement. So we have our little outlines here, and we need to move to the right. And this one we are going to move, I think, uh, up. That sounds about right. And let's actually copy this as well. And let's paste this one in here. This is actually missing a couple spaces. All right, so now we need to do the correct movement. So if we're moving to the right, that's plus one on the x. If we're moving up, we're not moving the x coordinate. We're moving up on the y coordinate. And the last one, paste this in here. We're just going to be decreasing the y coordinate. So move that one here. And this is looking for white space and you can see like it's asking for like uh, missing white space around parameters and what you can do for that is actually go to code and do reformat code and it'll actually fix all of those little errors that uh, well it's not really errors it's just formatting errors depending on how you have this set up uh, it'll do like different uh, things for you so it'll do different formatting for you so that's just a quick thing if you didn't know 
Um, all right, so now that we have all of our movement taken care of, we need to, I think that's it, all right? We just need to, let's print out our mover to see where he's going. And then, oh, we are actually gonna need to add to, append to the list, but let's run this right now. And, oh, wow, we see, like, Santa Claus is moving, but he's only moving, like, one or two places. So that is because we're not actually moving the Santa variable. So let's make sure that's on the correct uh, spacing here. What we need to do is set Santa equal to mover again, and that'll resave the value for when we call it up here. Let's run this, and, okay, now we're seeing, like, actual coordinates. So that's really good. And the last piece that we have to do is um, increment our list. So let's do, if not, and we're going to do string manipulation here. So we're going to say if, you know, whatever the coordinate is. So down here it's 40 minus negative 8. So we're going to say if 40 comma 23 is in the list already, then let's... Uh, add it to the list. Let's move it from the list basically. Um, Alright, so we're here. Just have to manipulate these strings. Mover 0 and we're just making it match up to the way that it has it here. Put this in here. Plus str mover position one is in the grid list then I'm saying if it's not in the grid list then we want to add it to the grid list and you add things to the list by doing append pen and we're basically putting this entire statement in here so we're saying if 41 negative 87 is in the list or if it is not in the list then add it to the list so now let me uh, make some space in here. If we print this out, we see we get the actual answer because we're, we're doing the length of the list. And we have 2,565. See what our answer is here. 2,565. All right, so for part two, all we're doing is Santa Claus makes a robot Santa, and he wants to give the robot Santa the odd number of, uh, or the, yeah, the odd number of, present deliveries, trying to think of the word here. So, all I have to do is add a Robo Santa. I'll just call him Robo for right now. Put in his grid coordinates, so he starts out at 0, 0. And this is why I have the, uh, the S and the R in here, to differentiate between the two different movers. So, now, to get the evens and odd number of uh, movers, we need to figure out all right, x is the particular number here, so x is like 8,000, whatever. How do we know if which one is even and odd? Well, we use the modulus function. So x mod 2, or a number divided by 2, if it is an even number, it will not have a remainder. So modulus functions are remainders. I'm pretty sure, if you haven't gone over them yet, um, I guess I need to go over them, but whatever. That's for another time. So what we're doing here now is if the mover is Santa Claus or if it is an even number we're giving we're giving we're setting the mover to Santa Claus. If it is an odd number, we're setting it to Robo Santa. And now if we run this, we'll see oh wait what the hell? We got uh, 13. And that is because we're not setting the movers back properly in the evens and odds. So what we need to do is say if mover position 2 is equal to an S, then Santa equals the mover. So this is setting the correct variables back into each individual one. Else, we're going to give it to Robo Santa equals uh, mover. So if we run this here, 
Uh, we got 2,639, and let's check to see if that is the correct answer, 2,639. So, thank you guys for watching, Advent of Code, Day 3, we went over, it's pretty much lists, more lists and if statements, there are many different ways that you can do this, and we went over, like, appending to a list, so, like I said, and with a lot of program, there are many different ways that you can do this stuff, and, uh, yeah, so, I hope you guys learned from this, let me know what you guys think. Please uh, comment, subscribe, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching.